and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today we're having a look at a PS5 game by the name of Dolman, and this is a game by Massive Work Studios. It is a third-person ARPG, which uh, draws influence from places like Hellpoint, like The Surge, like Dark Souls, and, as you can see, like Dead Space. So I'm going to just be whizzing through, just showing you some of the mechanics, trying not to spoil things, so I will be skipping the story, etc. So we have three bars in the top left a red bar a green bar and a blue bar and at the moment it's just telling me um by these red panels on the floor which are kind of hint things if you've ever played dark souls you'll know all about this but um if i press the square button i can recharge my health so press square once you can see it uses some of my blue bar which is the energy bar use it again bosh done i can recharge that energy bar because that energy bar i need to shoot i can't shoot at the moment because I've got no energy, but I've got batteries. If I press down on the D-pad, I can consume a battery. Bosh, there's one. Let's do it again. Bosh, done. So now, I can shoot stuff. Like that. Um, as you saw, melee, melee, stabby, stabby. Uh, that's green bar, stamina. Good. There you go, I've explained that already. R1 for a light attack. R2 for a big boy. Uh, we can lock on to enemies as well. Uh, story is basically uh, space mining colony. They're out there mining for a precious resource called Dolmen. Um, trans uh, the transmissions go funny. Uh, turns out basically like Dead Space. No one's heard from them because there's been a big alien attack. Although there's more to it than that. Uh, there's uh, portals opening up to other dimensions and such. It's it's quite complex, so uh, I'll leave it to you to work it out. We've got a block mechanic here. A block and a parry. Um, watch this. Block and parry. And that was with a light attack. Killed that spider with a little block to his face. Nicely done. What have we got here? Battery. Explain that to you already. Move on. Jump scare coming up. Mm, here he is. Look. Let's do one of them. Nicely done. Right, if you uh, are wondering, there are lots of resource, and this one down here will get you a trophy for the first time you play the game. This isn't my main game, this is a secondary save, I think there's 10 saves in this game in total. Um, this is just a game that I'm doing for the purpose of this video. However, that is a scarce resource. Why are you picking up resources, you might wonder? Well, of course, there is a big skill tree, and there are weapons that you can craft, etc. There's screens for days, you see. All right, so now I've explained that, let's move on. I'm glad I could be with you today explaining things. Right, let's shoot some eggs. They pop, off they go. Now we get an explanation as to how to use that. That's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, my commentary, uh, obviously to everyone's taste, and I believe I might be about to I unlock a beacon. a beacon. I'll send a signal. Send Beacons. They are teleportation devices, so you can fast travel from one point to another in the map. Uh, find beacons throughout, you can teleport from one to the next. You can also teleport back to your ship. What is on your ship? Crafting station, basically, and uh, a way to top up your energy and such. You'll see them shortly, uh, but I need to get a jog on. So let's go around here and see if there's any resource around here. Nothing. Smashing crates for days. No resource. Don't worry. So let's go back on the main path and that's just down here again this is one of those exploration type situations and if you die you die and you will lose what you are carrying your nanites nanites are the things that the, the currency that you get for killing things and that can be seen in the top right of the screen there i have 90 of them the thing below that not entirely sure but it's dolman and dolman uh, sorry, I had to dispatch him really quickly. He's got a green bum and he spits acid at you. Um, Dolman, the thing that I have one of, that is the scarce resource that the colonies have um, been mining from this planet, you see. I've got one of them. Don't know what it does. I think it's part of the upgrade process. Um, but should I die, I drop all my nanites. And you are left with a, uh, a kind of hologram on the floor that you must go and get, like your souls type um, mechanic in Dark Souls, if you are familiar with that. Sorry I'm rushing through. There is a hell of a lot to carry uh, on about. La la. This guy really wants it, but I want it badder. So down here, 
This guy, strong. He'll probably kill me. Um, so let's try and do him. He has an unparryable attack. You'll see that. Through that red... Did you see it? That red mark there. Unparryable. Got no battery, bruv. Got no battery, no stamina. Right. Oh, press the wrong button. I kind of want him dead now. Got him. Nope. Wow, all right, boy. One of them to the eyelid. Okay, and he's gone. And we have 400 nanites. Let's kill his eggs. There's nothing down here. Shouldn't even really be engaging. But I'm, I'm just collecting nanites so that when we open up our second beacon, we can teleport back to the ship, the mother ship, as it were. And I can show you the skill tree properly. Let's go down here. There is actually a resource down here. Resources, different resources, uh, zone field generator and steel tubes. Different resources uh, allow you to um, craft different weapons. Long range weapons, shotguns, different two handed swords, um, rapid little swords. There's a whole plethora of goodies for you to enjoy um, if you're the kind of uh, far away kind of stealthy guy. Uh, the up close and personal, big battle, one swipe kind of killer. There's a there's a weapon range for you. Jump attack. Wants me to jump attack this dude. Don't want to. Want to rush through this as quick as pos. Oh, hello. That was the jump attack there. Doing all right so far. Blast that guy's egg. Let me know what you reckon about Dolman. I reckon it's alright. I, uh, I have been maining this at the moment. I've got loads of games. And this is the game I have chosen as my main at the moment. I, I'm really liking it. This isn't really a genre I gravitate towards. I'm going to skip this because spoilers. Don't worry, we're not about to encounter a boss. I could. I could go straight to a boss, but I'm not ready yet. Uh, but yeah, this isn't really a genre that I I typically main. But I found myself pretty addicted to this. I just think that it's been uh, very well made. It's very engrossing. And I mean... I can see there is definite affection uh, for Dead Space, and Dead Space is my favourite game. Um, so anything that pays homage to Dead Space, uh, count me in. That little message there, this interaction, just states that you can apply different elemental bits and pieces to weapons. So uh, And different enemies have different elemental weaknesses. This guy, he's he doesn't like ice, so I've actually got, by default, an ice element um, assigned to my weapon. But there's fire, there's poison. I think that might be it. I don't know. Let's let my battery recharge a bit. Come on, man. He's going to drop down. I knew he was. I haven't got time to go down there, brother. Right, I'm going to go across the bridge here. I'm going to swing round and pop him one more time. Doesn't matter if I can't reach him because his nanites will come to me like so. Okay. So we're nearly, nearly, nearly at the first point of being able to teleport back to our spacecraft. So much to take in. Don't worry about it. Just if you get this game, take your time. Enjoy it as I did. I've learned all this myself just through trial and error, as is often the case with kind of Souls likes. You'll learn what weapons work for you, what don't, different paths around. Sorry, in here there's a load of webs that you get 
stuck on. There we go. Gosh, resource. Thank you. Pyro metal. I'll have some of that. Don't know what it does. Or what weapon uh, we can apply it to. So now we're just up one level. And a couple enemies to quickly dispatch. There we go. That's one. They do jump down and try and give you a, a spooky sk uh, scare. This guy, Green Bum, he can spit acid at me, so you want to dispatch him pretty quick. Otherwise, he will F you up. So, one thing I forgot to mention. If you look just down here, uh, this here, that's my heartbeat. Um, real live heartbeat. 73 at the moment. My resting heart rate is 48 uh, to 50 basically catatonic i'm a very chill guy <laughs> so you can see that this game is actually picking up uh, my excitement levels um the middle one there is my stress levels 74 pretty stressy and even though i've played this part before imagine the first time i played it blimey and this one here 51 out of 100 that is my body battery so it's telling me you're pretty much uh, on the cusp of being effed uh, i didn't have a good night's sleep last night and um my uh, smartwatch takes into account all of that good stuff and broadcasts it to you so we can actually see um, I can't you know I, I might not blame pure tiredness for my elevated heart rate and being a bit crap at a game because you can actually see uh, down there that I've still got 50% of my actual real life body battery if you're wondering it's just here this watch here my Garmin uh, instinct eSport thing um, excellent love it Right, so we are coming up to the second beacon, which means the first time we're able to teleport. Woo! Let's go and unlock that. I managed to oh. synchronize the signal with Zone Starship. This driller is a VIP. He's a driller. A VIP driller. Uh, no, that doesn't mean that he walks around estates in London with a phone camera crew uh, recording uh, battle raps about other postcode crews. No, he is not that kind of driller. He is one of the uh, colonies who have been sent here to mine for resources. Anyway, we're on that digression. We're back on the ship, the mother ship. And look, here is where you can craft weapons. Uh, I don't think I've got enough resource uh, for crafting just yet. We're very early doors into the game. So no, I mean, I could probably... Re nope, can't can't do anything but here is where you can mess around in your skill tree so i have uh, if you look in the top right hand corner of the screen the very top there um i have 1010 nanites nanites are your in-game currency with which to apply to your skill tree so i'm gonna up my energy uh, my endurance my constitution and my strength and that's all. That's all I've got money for. So let's do that. Let's upgrade. And that just means I will have more health. I will be able to carry um, different types of weapons, etc. So I pretty much maxed out um, my nanites there. I've only got 13 left. So let's um, oh, let's go up. I'll show you one more little secret pickup in here. And that's by chatting to this fella here. There's nothing really else in the ship. But if we chat to your crewmate he will give you a couple of these reactors and these reactors are the elements that you can apply to your suit acid and fire so you can have better resistance to those things don't worry about this screen yet that can all be explained in another video so let's go back downstairs as i said there's not much else in this ship let's go back to our teleporter interact with that and we can go back to the main path or back to the very first area so we'll go back to our main path now from here it's pretty much up to you where you go but all paths eventually will lead you to the first boss upon defeating the first boss you will become stronger and you will be able to cut your way through areas like this or this particular area and i think one more area and that will grant you access to over there uh, which is the next kind of area of the game but there are plenty more areas to explore in this first area before the boss there's probably about another if you know what you're doing uh if you know where you're going there's probably about another 40 minutes um before you get to the boss before you get to defeat him and that's how you dispatch those so i'm just going to take you into the crater here which is the central point it's a good point of reference here it's a multi 
uh, floor thing. And I think, yeah, here we go. So it's a multi-floor situation. There's loads of enemies to dispatch. I find that coming in here and leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back is a good way to farm for resource because you've got these guys who spit fire at you. They often drop good resource over there. Uh, there's a couple of acid spiders up the top somewhere. Um, and, yeah, there's a few bits and pieces. There's an acid spider down there. Yeah, him, he's a bit evil. There's a few other bits of resource over there. Um, there's an elevator there that you can use. Uh, you want to check out that door over there. Uh, you'll pop through one of these doors when you defeat the boss so you can carry on your journey. Anyway, that is our first look at Dolmen um, on the PS5. This is also out on PS4. I believe it's out on other consoles as well and PC. Other consoles, uh, I mean Xbox and PC. And it's by Massive Work Studios. And it is incredible i'm really loving it so far so do check it out do check the story out let me know how you've got on and uh tell me what you have thought about this in this initial video is there anything i didn't cover off here that you potentially would like me to uh, do maybe you want a second video uh, in which case i will do so just hit the thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know that you're interested in this game and i will get more footage to you so thanks for watching and until the next time I'm going to go and calm my heart down, which is now at 97%, getting too excited talking about the game. Literally, uh, just hit 100. So excited. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. See you later.